Hey, Shelly, how you doing? Hey, Natalie, how are you? Good, we're back on YouTube. I love it. Hello, JTV. So I think let's just dive into the episode. What do you think? Let's do it. Let's see what you've got hiding in that box. What's in the box? It's a regal color, a sign of a prince, a color somewhere in the rainbow. Oh, prince like the print, prince, prince, prince. Prince Prince. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the box. So we're talking about purple things today, purple gemstones. I'm ready. That's purple. This is purple. Lots of purple things, Shelly. What should we talk about first? I have, I think I'm wearing amethyst. We should talk about what's in front of me. We've got an amethyst. This is, a, this is an opal. Come on. Yeah. Where's it from? Well, Murado Opal is from Mexico. So this is from Mexico. Okay, this is Charolite. Oh, it is Charolite, okay. It's been a hot minute since I've studied that. I love its color. Uh, I, it's rare in, in really bright purples mm -hmm. with um, great veining. It's extremely difficult to get your hands on. Designers love working with it because it's obviously it's it's good and it's hard cool. and um, it 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 sets really well. And we've had a lot of viewers actually talk about it. Um, it's found usually in Siberia, and to be honest, guys, I don't I haven't seen a whole lot of it. I've seen a little bit at GIA, a little bit here, but um, like you said, it's not common. Definitely one of those designer gemstones because there's just not enough of it to make it really commercially viable. So again, if JTV is offering it and um, you love that, you know, beautiful, rich purple color that it comes in, grab it while JTV's got it because there's, it, it, it's not a gemstone that's plentiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have right here? So stitch tight, it's about a one and a half to two on the Mohs. Oh, so super soft. No wonder we don't see it on the market. Yeah, so you're not gonna find this often, if ever. Um, I mean, I think that color is really interesting. It can kind of be found in like pinks and purples. And we can thank chromium and magnesium for that color. Well, it's fantastic color. It's, it's obviously very soft. Pretty. Um, I don't know if um, many people would facet it, obviously, nope. at a one and a half to two on a hardness scale. And I don't know if it uh, if it comes um, in a gem grade, uh, but it is a fantastic color. The, the richness is beautiful. We have actually used Stitch Tight in beads at JTV. It's super, super rare. Um, super beautiful color, which I said, as we can thank chromium and magnesium for. Um, okay, so we have charoite, we have sujolite. What do you know about sujolite? I love sujolite. Sujolite is one of my favorite gems. Why? For inlay material. Oh. When you slab it and you cut it and you slice it thin and you use it as form of inlay, which sujolite has been used in the um, uh, American Indian jewelry oh. making arts for 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 generations and actually finding good nice quality sujolite in today's world is extremely difficult and it's getting very expensive because it's getting so hard to find so again that's one of those gems that if you don't have sujolite in your collection and jtv's offering it grab it off the market while you can because we're seeing less and less and less supply all the time um, fantastic colors of purple. It's durable, it's wearable. Um, and again, to find a cab like that size that you just had in your hand, great stone. It's a great collector's gem. I might just have something for you, Miss Natalie. Is it in a FedEx box on the way to my home? Yeah, well, you know, you are known as, you know, one of the queens of royalty. Oh and my God, that's needless beautiful. To say, Jade is definitely a gemstone of royalty. So this particular piece of jade, of lavender jade, and you'll see that it's mixed with its classic green counterpart. Obviously, you know, jade has been known for thousands of years as being one of the most royal gems in the world. By far, uh, Jade is taking higher prices at auctions and uh, throughout the Asian cultures uh, of any gemstone in the world, including colored diamonds. The carving of this is just so intricate and so beautiful. You'll see flowers, you'll see vines, and the slightest color variations of Jade can mean huge differences in price. I highly recommend that 
when you go to Tucson, spend some time, learn about jade. Um, I think every collection should have a, a nice piece of jadeite in it. Okay, so let's talk about this little bobble. Through the camera, you get to guess tanzanite. what this is. Tanzanite. No. What? You're wrong. No, sapphire? it's not tanzanite. Sapphire? It's sapphire. This sapphire is actually even cooler than just a purple sapphire. Okay. Because it's okay. actually a color change sapphire. Wowzers. So just like an alexandrite changes its colors or, you know, there's lots of color change stones, but sapphire actually comes in color change as well. Yeah, so this um, so this sapphire comes from Sri Lanka. Okay. Um, and it does change its color source from blue to purple, depending on whether you're in warm lighting or if you're in the cool, you know, the natural cool lights. Oh, I have a box. Oh, purple spinel. I love spinel. Spinel is always a good choice, right? All right, Shelly, we have um, taffite right here. Tell me what you know about taffite, because I am not as familiar with it as you are. It's it's definitely a collector's gemstone. Okay. Again, there's not enough of the material to make it commercially viable. So if you are a colored gemstone collector and you are offered a taffite to add to your collection, you don't say no. You just grab that baby and add it to your collection because it is a collector's gemstone. Um, Extreme, extraordinarily rare. Anything uh, in the world of a carat and larger is considered a, almost a museum qual a, a museum collector size. Well, this is three point. So I don't know what size you've got sitting there. Three point one five carats. Wow, that's huge. That's huge. That's a huge taffite. Okay, okay guys, I, I have you. this piece right here. What is this? Is tanzanite? Is this tanzanite? Is this the tanzanite? It's a lavender yeah. tanzanite. I never would have guessed that ever. Okay, from here, it looks like a really rich amethyst. Yeah, but um, I will say there's some violet and purple. Like I, I can see where it's a tanzanite now. I can understand that. You know, let's maybe talk about this little guy. Yeah, what is that? I w I'm saying a tanzanite. So it's amethyst. Never would have guessed it. It looks no, tanzanite-y from it, here. It has this beautiful, beautiful flashes of red and pink and it is such a beautiful stone. So this piece is is unique in the fact that we don't see uh, a lot of gem quality amethyst from this area. It's actually from Rwanda. And so it's just a fascinating, fascinating, deep, deep purple color, lots of red flash, some really pretty pink that's going on in there. And I'm hoping... That's uh, beautiful, oh go. my God. And in comparison, this is another fabulous example of amethyst. These are gentlemen's cufflinks. Oh, I like big stones and I cannot lie. I like big stones and I cannot lie. You other brothers can deny. Beautiful, beautiful done in 18 karat yellow gold, diamonds on the sides. I love the architecture behind these. And these particular amethysts come from the Four Peaks mine in Arizona. Very cool. Which are, Arizona is home to the largest working gem mine in North America. And we produce this beautiful, beautiful amethyst with gorgeous red flash. I love it. Now you were asking about tanzanite. Okay. Wow. That's a big stone. So it's just at Beautiful. 14 carats. So Tanzanite found in 1967 in Tanzania. It's the one gemstone that we know that has no mineral trace anywhere else in the world that's been discovered yet. Mm -hmm. So it, it, there's this, this pocket of, of land in Tanzania that produces this gorgeous zoocyte. Zoocyte is the mineral uh, name for tanzanite being the gemstone, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it comes in so many colors, like the one you just showed me earlier that has that violet and that purple in yeah. it. That is a no heat, natural color. Mother Nature heated that one all by herself and we came out with that beautiful mixed colors of purple to whereas this particular piece uh, is just over 14 carats and it's been heated because when it came out of the ground, it wasn't that ideal color that we anticipate to see in tanzanite. So if we heat it, right, we get these beautiful 
saturated tones of blue and purple combination. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that happens in nature all by itself. But when somebody comes to me and says, I have a fancy zoocyte to show you, it might be pink, it might be green, it might be a root beer color in this one little area of Tanzania. And the geology there being so incredibly rich produces all of these different colors. Like the greens can go from a celery, light celery green to an olive green wow. to a really rich grassy colored green. And yet they all come from that same small area. So I think tanzanite is just enough fat. Zoocyte is a mineral, but tanzanite as a, as a gemstone, I, I just think they're fascinating. That is so cool. One more out of my little box. Okay. It's not a piece of jewelry, but That's it okay. would make a fabulous piece of jewelry. That's okay. So let's not forget That's this That's beautiful gem. Huge. Well, this one is a little different. It only happens in one area of the world. Okay. This is ametrine. Oh, from Bolivia. From Bolivia. Yeah, exactly. I can't. I wasn't able to see the orange. Um, we talked. We've talked about ametrine before. It's only found in Bolivia. So half of it is amethyst, half of it is citrine. It's a bicolor stone. So I think that ametrine is one of the most fascinating gemstones in the world of purple, because you get those beautiful, rich honey colors of citrine and amethyst. And for some reason, again, just like tanzanite from Tanzania, ametrine only coming from Bolivia. Why? Why did Mother Nature choose Bolivia and say, boom, ametrine, mm -hmm. it's yours? All right, everyone. So let's take a closer look right here. We have this tanzanite. It's a lavender tanzanite. We actually bought it from Shelly. So big thank you to Shelly for a beautiful stone um, and for coming on the channel today. As always, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. I love the JTV family. Thank Hello you. to everyone out there. And until we're back in studio, thanks so much for inviting me to I come I know, play. I can't wait to have you back in studio. We can try on jewelry together and make jokes. I always love having you on. You are um, definitely a the gem. You are one of the true gems in the business. Great, okay, so I am gonna wrap up this episode, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you wanna be Shelly shocked in the future. Um, and we are crossing our fingers. Shelly will be back soon on JTV. And in the meantime, go out and explore gemstones and comment below and let us know what you wanna see in the future. Oh yeah, you know what? If you like this episode, send us a purple heart emoji. That's always fun, right? Oh yeah. Cool. Okay, let's see. How many purple hearts can we get? I'm hoping we have about 120,000 subscribers, so I'm hoping 120,000. Okay, I Fingers like it. Crossed. You can send more than one if you'd like. Yes, please. We love all the purple hearts we can get.